Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, my name is Hannah Marie and welcome. Um, today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on the Urban Decay Moon Dust palette, which hasn't even been released yet. It comes out July 10th, so if you're interested in learning how to do a look on this palette at home, then just keep watching. Okay, so as you can see, most of my face is already done. Not most of it, but the basics. I already did my brows and I already did my foundation. I prepped my skin with the, what is this called, Philosophy Renewed Hope in a Jar for Dry Skin. I've been loving this moisturizer lately. Um, if you watch my other tutorials, I normally do the Lancome Benefit, but I ran out of it and so I decided to try this one and I have been loving it. I apply it morning and night. It's been my baby for the past few days now. Um, I went in with the Becca Backlight Priming Filter, as usual. This is my probably holy grail of all primers, just because it gives like a luminous look to the skin. And then I went in with the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation in Sand, which is a little bit darker than usual, because lately I've been using a crew and it's a little bit lighter, but I decided to try this one. And I also used the Urban Decay Color Correcting Fluid in Peach for a little bit under the eyes. So let's go over why you clicked on this video. So this is the Urban Decay Moon Dust Palette. If you haven't heard about this, these are the new um, shades that are going to be coming out July 10th, I believe. Um, I'm not sure they're going to be in stores yet or if they're going to be online. Probably online, I'm not sure. But let's go ahead and look at the packaging. So when you first get it, this is what the front looks like. And then this is what the back looks like, which all of these colors are inside. As you can see, it's really, really beautiful already. So let's go ahead and open it. And immediately when I opened this, I was like, oh my god, this packaging is legit. Like, it's so cute. It's like a silver iridescent color, and it's not really smooth. It has like a texture to it. So when you first open it, so these are the colors. I don't want to blend anybody, so I'm putting my hand over the mirror. But these are the colors. I don't know if you can see them in this lighting, but they are very, very, very reflective and they have a ton of shimmer in them. I'm going to do a few swatches just so you can get a feel for how each and every color looks before I apply it. Um, obviously, I'm not going to be applying every shade to my eye, but I'm going to go ahead and apply it to my hand. So the first thing we're going to be doing is Spectre, which is this light shade right here. So when you first feel it, it feels like really, really, really smooth. It almost feels like you're not even touching anything, like butter in other words. And let me remind you that these shadows are not meant to be like super, super pigmented. Um, I don't know if you can see that or not, but that is the first one. The second one is Element, which is like this reddish peach one right here. I'm taking that. This is probably like my favorite one. It's so fucking pretty. When I put it on my skin, it's like a... Um, orangey red it's really cute and this is not the shadow that's out on her next thing is the magnetic which is the purple right here this one's really pretty i would highly recommend using these with max um fix plus setting spray spraying your brush with this because otherwise if you put it on just a regular flat brush it's probably not gonna have a lot of color payoff <clears throat> <coughs> I don't know what the fuck's wrong with my voice today. Do you do you hear that? It's like raspy, and it's never raspy. <laughs> but anyways, if you just apply this to the skin, like just by itself, it's not gonna have a lot of color payoffs. So if you're really wanting that pop in vibrancy shimmer, you're gonna have to use some type of setting spray and spray it on your brush, then dip it into the shadow. So the last one on this row is called Lightyear. It's a really pretty like turquoise green. Look okay. right, dye. Do you see that? That one probably stands out the most, especially on fair skin. Hello. All right, the next one we're going to be doing is granite, which is literally like a silverish um, silver. And it's crazy because it doesn't even look this dark in the pan. But look how dark it is on the skin, if you can see it. I wish I had better light so you could see it. All right, now next is going to be lithium. It looks a little bit lighter than granite. This one is probably one of my faves. It's so pretty. So if you can see it in comparison to granite, it is a little bit lighter and it almost has a little bit more brown to it versus black, which is what the granite has. So I hope I'm pronouncing this right, Vega, it's V-E-G-A, it's the blue one. This one is like really, really pretty. Although I don't wear that many blues, but it still is pretty. It's like a royal blue. You can see that. 
And last but not least, Galaxy, which is a mixture of the turquoise and the royal blue, right here. That's pretty. And it does look really dark too. You can see that. So these are all of the colors. You can see really good in this light, the texture of them, how they are reflective. So anyway, let's get started with the tutorial. I'm going to go back and forth between the new palette, obviously, and the Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye, just because it has a lot of neutrals in it, and I'm definitely going to have to mix neutrals in with this. Um, honestly, I haven't even like thought about or gone over what look I want to do, so I think I want to try Lithium which is that pretty brownish one, and then I'm gonna do the purple, which is magnetic. I'm gonna be using both of those today. Um, I may make another tutorial where I'm using more of them, but for right now, I think that's what I'm gonna go for. Cause I still have to go to work when I get done doing this, and I don't wanna look like I just dropped down from space. So, yeah. And this is gonna be somewhat kind of like a smoky eye. Um, it's really hard to do a natural look with the colors that I chose. So that's what we're gonna do today. And the first color I'm gonna be using out of the Kat Von D palette is going to be this baby right here in the middle. It's almost like a grayish color. And I'm gonna be using my MAC 224 brush and going back and forth for my transition color. Okay, so I've done the transition color. Now I'm gonna be taking a MAC 217 brush and I'm gonna be applying this shade, which is right under the one that I just used. So it's like a dark um, charcoal gray looking color. And I'm gonna be going in the outer crease with this, bringing it to the um, middle of the crease. Softly going inwards like this with barely any product. Now I'm taking a little bit of this peach color right here just to add a little bit of color up here. I just figured it would look good. So now I'm gonna go back with a MAC 219 brush and I'm gonna be taking that same dark brown color and just kind of sculpting out the crease on the outside and bringing it inwards. So I still want a little bit more depth on the outside, so I'm going to add the black, which is in the middle. And I'm just going to tap it on the outer crease. And going about, not halfway on the lid, but bringing it inwards. Just so everything blends really nicely. So I'm taking my 224 brush in that transition color, and I'm just going to go back and clean up the edges just to make sure there's no harsh lines. So grab you a flat brush, and I'm gonna be using the MAC 239 brush. I can't find my other flat brush anywhere, so I'm just gonna make do with this. Fix Plus Spray, you can find this also at MAC for $22. I'm spraying the brush with a good amount of Fix Plus, and I'm just gonna dab it on a towel, just to make sure it's not literally like dripping. And then I'm just going to dip it in the shadow, and I'm gonna be doing the purple one, the magnetic one. And I'm literally going to press it onto the lid. And also spraying it with Fix Plus also ensures that it stays on and in place all day. Even if you use a primer, the Fix Plus is known as a setting spray. So obviously when you spray your brush and dip it in the eyeshadow, it's going to make it stay in place. And you can do this with a lot of eyeshadows. So as you can see, it looks foiled. When the light reflects from it, it's, um, it gives off like a really pretty glow, which is really pretty to me, I love it. This color right here and clean up the edges of the purple. The only downfall 
that I'm finding out with the shadows is one, obviously they're not really pigmented. You really have to pack it on the lid for it to show up. Um, so if you're planning on not using this with Flix Plus, you may be somewhat disappointed because um, that's the only way that I'm going to be able to wear it. Otherwise, they're going to be very, very sheer. Next thing I'm noticing is obviously it has a ton of fallout, um, which when you wear a really glittery sheer eyeshadow, that's pretty much expected with some people that haven't used anything like this yet. Just going to give you a heads up. It does have a little bit of fallout. Not much, but... Um, I'm just hoping that it stays on throughout the day. Okay, so now I'm going to be going in with my MAC Definitely Black Pro Longwear Eye Pencil, and I'm just going to be lining the waterline with this. So before I finish up the eye area, I'm going to go ahead and highlight and contour. I'm going to be using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Cream Contour Kit for this. And if you are new to my channel, you will see very quickly that I really like to be highlighted under here. Um, obviously, it's not going to be this bright, but... It makes your eyes look awake when you have a light shade of foundation or concealer or whatever underneath your eyes. It makes your eyes pop more and if you're wearing a really pretty or dramatic eye, it makes the eyeshadow stand out more, which is what I like to do. Obviously, you don't have to use as much as me, but once I blend it all together, it's going to look cute. So now I'm just going to be going in with this shade, which is right underneath of Fair. And I'm blending this out with my buffing brush from Real Techniques. Going in a circular motion. Okay, so my camera got too hot as usual. So as you can see now, I just set my concealer with the Laura Mercier translucent powder and I just went ahead and baked that. So while that is baking at 370 degrees, I'm gonna take my Tarte Park Avenue Princess Bronza and I'm gonna be taking my Morphe N530 brush and I'm just gonna go over a little bit when I contour just to give it a little bit more depth um, but not too much, obviously. So I'm just lightly going to go over this in a circular motion, bringing it up to the top. Cream is a little bit more difficult to work with, but if you know what you're doing and you know how to blend it out properly, it's absolutely beautiful. I think it is actually more better looking than using just a powder to contour with. Um, but if you are new to makeup and you aren't comfortable with contouring and all that yet, I would definitely start out with powder and then you could get the cream eventually and play around with it. Um, I try to avoid using cream so much just because it does take a little bit longer to work into the skin, but I mean, it's so pretty. It makes your skin look so smooth, um, especially when you bake cream. I feel like it sets better than it does with liquid. Um, so now I'm just gonna take this on the jawline, the chin area, just cause I don't want my chin to be white. That's gonna continue to bake and we're gonna move back into um, the eyes. Already did the black eyeliner, so now I'm just going to go in with Designer Purple. This is a Pro Glide Intense Eyeliner from MAC. It's purple and it has glitter in it, so I feel like it'll be really, really cute with the purple that we have here. So I'm just going to take it and go right underneath my eye, right underneath the black. So now I'm going to go back in with Magnetic, which is the color from 
our palette that we use on the lid. And I'm not gonna spray too much Fix Plus on this. I'm just gonna kind of lightly dust over the eyeliner at the bottom, giving it a little bit of sparkle. I'm gonna add a little bit of black from the Kat Von D palette and I'm gonna put it on the outer corners at the bottom just to have a little bit more dimension at the bottom. So now I'm gonna go in with Spectre, which is that light shade right here, and I'm gonna put this in the tear duct area. I don't know what this is gonna look like, but we're about to find out. All right, I'm gonna sweep away that Laura Mercier powder. So I just applied some mascara onto the lashes, and now I'm gonna be taking my Benefit Cheekathon palette, and I'm gonna be using Dallas Blush out of here. Next thing I'm going to be using is my soft serve eyeshadow from MAC. This is called Best Makeup, and I'm going to be using this to highlight. If you haven't watched my other tutorial where I'm using this and I'm describing how fucking perfect it is, you need to go watch it. Or how I'll just buy it because I know you're going to love it and fall in love anyway. So you might as well just buy it. But again, this is an eyeshadow. I just like to use it as a highlighter. So I'm still going to be applying my lashes, but first I'm going to go in with Lime Crime Cashmere Liquid Lipstick. So the next thing I'm going to be using is my Huda Beauty Scarlet Lashes. These are number eight. So I just want to know, like, how hot is it around the world? Like, I feel like it is scorching hot down here in the south. Like, I hate to even go outside. I really wish I could live somewhere where it was, like, 75 degrees all year long. It'd be so amazing. I've just always wanted to live, like, in the mountains, like, where it's cold. I love being cold, honestly. Like, I keep my house 65 degrees. Alright, guys, so that completes the look for today. I really hope you all enjoyed it. Um, as you know, please subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed watching this video. Also, give it a thumbs up. I'm going to list all the products that I use down below in the description box so you can find it easily. So yeah, thank you all for your support and for your love and for your positive feedback that I've been getting lately. It's been very, very, very appreciated. Um, I just want to let you know that I love you all and thank you so much. Alright, bye guys.